Now tracking Hurricane Ada, uh, the landfall in Honduras, killing a little girl. Rain from Ada caused a mudslide that slammed into the wall of the house where she lived, and that caused it to collapse on top of her. The storm made landfall on Honduras and Nicaragua with winds up to 140 miles an hour. Right now, at least 30,000 people are in evacuation shelters. 140 mile per hour winds, that is crazy. Justin Bruce joining us live in studio right now. And Justin, um, what's the status right now? What is it looking like? Yeah, I mean, anytime you're talking about a category three or especially a four or a five, I mean, the devastation is going to be widespread and pretty incredible. This is still a tropical storm as it is now about a, a, in the halfway point between Central America, between the Caribbean and the Pacific, uh, 45 mile per hour sustained winds. So uh, really, it's more of the rain threat. Lots of rain all across Central America. This is going to emerge back over the waters of the Caribbean and then potentially cross Cuba and be somewhere in the Gulf of Mexico early next week as a tropical storm. Probably not going to grow into a, a big hurricane again, uh, but this could deliver 10 plus inches of rain uh, to the Gulf Coast. Right now it looks like Florida would be the prime target early next week.